Do you want to do proper keyword research for your e-commerce website? Well, in today's video, we'll teach you how you can do keyword research the right way so you can drive more traffic to your e-com website, sell more of your products, and rank for the right keywords. So let's get started. Okay, keyword research for e-commerce. So I would structure this process into three phases. The first phase is to create a list of seed keywords. Okay, so what is a seed keyword? A seed keyword is essentially a one, two, or maybe three phrase search term that falls under your niche that's really popular uh, some phrase that is very common. Okay, so let's just say we are a e-commerce website and we sell different dog products, right? We sell dog food, treats, and supplies, and we need to build out a list of seed keywords. So what you would do is uh, create an Excel spreadsheet and just list out the initial list of seed keywords. So for example, uh, dog food, would be a seed keyword, uh, puppy food. I also would look at my main navigation to pull some of those seed keywords out. Okay, so look at your category pages, your subcategory pages, your product pages as well. Okay, so uh, dry dog food would be another seed keyword. Now, if you don't have at an e-commerce website yet, what you could do is just basically ask yourself, uh, brainstorm by yourself, what types of seed keywords uh, that you can come up with and list those out. You can also look at your competitors as well. Get a list of your competitors, check out their websites, look at their main navigation and see what types of uh, seed keywords you can pull. Okay, so I'm gonna click on dry food and let's dive in a little bit deeper. Look at here under the category section, there's adult. Okay, so uh, adult uh, dry dog food for adult dogs. Okay, that could be a seed uh, keyword. Uh, there is brands. Another tip here is aside from the main navigation, what you can also look at is the uh, filtering options or the faceted navigation on the left-hand side, either on your e-com website or a competitor's website. Okay, so looking at the uh, faceted navigation on the left-hand side will give you a lot of great insights into additional uh, seed terms. So you can list out different brands, breed size, flavor, product weight, so on and so forth. So this gives you a lot of excellent ideas uh, to create your initial list of seed keywords. Okay, so once you create your initial list here, uh, the second step would be to go on Google and let's flush these out, okay? So for phase two, what we are going to do is just uh, Google each one of these uh, keywords and find long tail uh, terms for these keywords, okay? And we're gonna put those long tail terms in separate tabs in our Excel spreadsheet, okay? So let's start with uh, dog food, okay? So we're gonna go to Google and type in dog food. And for this keyword research, process, we will be using the Keywords Everywhere extension, so make sure you have that um, installed either for Chrome or Firefox. And in the Google search results page for dog food, we have some very helpful widgets from Keywords Everywhere. Okay, so uh, you can check out these uh, data points right here, but I want to focus on the widgets with the keywords listed. Okay, so you can see some related keywords associated with dog food. And you can see some very helpful metrics for each one of these keywords. You can see the search volume, um, the average cost per click, the competition score from zero to one, one being the most competitive, and also the trend over the past 12 months. All right, so look at these widgets. And what you can do is star the ones that make sense for your e-commerce website. Okay, so look at the data. So maybe dog food brands might be a good one for us. Uh, let's see the next widget here. People also search for. So what are the ter what other terms people are searching for when they type in dog food? Uh, let's see, uh, dry dog food. That's a good one. Healthy dog food. 
All right, let's see what else. Trending keywords, uh, Dr. Harvey Dog Food, this might be a good one. It has over 6,000 searches a month. Uh, let's see, Fresh Dog Food Delivery, Pure Harmony Dog Food. Okay, so as you can see here, it's getting a little bit more narrow, right? Long tail keywords, you could look at this widget here and star the ones that uh, make sense for your e-commerce uh, website, all right? Okay, and also what I like to do is click on this button right here, find long tail keywords for dog food. Okay, so Keywords Everywhere found over 1,400 uh, related keywords for dog food. Okay, so you could see this table here with a list of all of the keywords. You can see their respective search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, the trend over the past uh, 12 months. And if you hover over the bar graph, you can see the exact search volume and then the trending percentage. All right, so go through here and see what makes sense for your e-com website. All right, so I see some types of dog food like dog food grain free, dog food uh, beneficial, which is a brand, good search volume. And when you star these keywords, if you click on the Keywords Everywhere extension, click on my favorite keywords, all the keywords that you've starred would be in this table, right? And then you can export this and analyze it at a later uh, date. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. So what I'm gonna do is actually um, export this table. So I'm gonna actually copy this. Aside from copying it, you can export this as an Excel file, CSV file, PDF, or you can even print this table out. But I'm gonna copy this and go back to my Excel spreadsheet and go to my second tab here and paste that table information on this tab. So I like to analyze the keywords in an Excel spreadsheet just because I can, you know, um, go through here, sort, uh, slice and dice uh, the different uh, data sets and really dive deep. So I'm gonna go through here, see what makes sense. Um, I like to highlight the ones that I want to refer to or use on my e-commerce website. All right, look at the uh, search volume. It's really great to focus on keywords that have high search volume, but at the same time, you can look for the keywords that have a lower search volume because the keywords with lower search volume could still be very, very relevant for your e-com website. And then you can also look at the uh, cost per click, competition, the trending percentage, and also the uh, search volume. Um, it's split out here by column over the past uh, 12 months. I can also go back to my first tab and do the same process, right? So maybe uh, dry dog food, I can copy that, go back to Google and type that in and do that exact same process, all right? So that's how I would do phase two of this keyword research process for e-commerce uh, websites. Now, once you have a list of all the different tabs for each one of your seed keywords, the third phase is to figure out uh, what category they fit under and what you want to do with those keywords that you've uh, saved or highlighted. A, ca um, a keyword can be bucketed under, I would say, three main categories that fit in the sales funnel. All right, so there are navigational keywords. Now, navigational keywords are when searchers are looking for a specific website or a page. Maybe they are looking for a login page, maybe a specific brand name, a model number, a make. They wanna to navigate to that specific website or page. So that would be a navigational keyword. Now, there's also informational keywords. Now, these are when searchers want to know or do something like research the best dog food, right? So these are some additional keyword modifiers that might uh, indicate to you that these are informational keywords, like uh, comparison, maybe dog food comparison, dog food review, cheap dog food, best dog food, top 10, so on and so forth. Now the third type of category would be transactional keywords. So these are when a searcher wants to buy something. So they are in the mindset of making a transaction, making a purchase, okay? So these keywords are more revenue focused, right? They already went through the informational phase and now they are in that buying 
mindset. So some transactional keywords would have keyword modifiers like a discount, free shipping, buy now, coupon, a deal, right? So dog food discount, a dog food with free shipping, so on and so forth, right? So keeping this in mind, uh, what you can do is go back to your long tail keyword tab and just categorize the keywords that you've highlighted uh, by, by their informational category, transactional category, right? So I'm gonna insert a new column here and I'm gonna name it category. And I'm just gonna go through and just categorize uh, the keywords that are relevant to me, right? So best dog food, if we go back to our sales funnel categories, that's an informational term. So I'm just gonna put in informational so I know that we can potentially use this keyword as maybe a category page, a subcategory page, maybe a blog article. Let's go through here. Uh, let's see, dog food for allergies. This is an informational term as well. And let's see, let's do pounds. I know a pound is a really popular keyword modifier that someone would search for if they are looking for uh, you know, dog food, that's a specific uh, weight. So dog food container, 50 pounds. That could be informational or transactional. I would say it's transactional in this case. People know exactly what, how much, how big of a, a dog food bag they want. This one is another one. Let's see what else. Uh, discounts, let's see if there's anything around discount. Right, dog food discounts. Okay, and after you are done with phase three of categorize, categorizing these keywords, you now have a more uh, clear idea and plan as to how you can implement these keywords on your e-commerce website. So you can start ranking for these keywords, uh, drive traffic to your website, and ultimately uh, make sales from your e-com store. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. So with that said, thank you, and we will see you in the next one.